It was in a setting somewhat similar to this that the first recorded marriage took place. Marriage is one of the most beautiful creations that God has given humanity. He said in Genesis, for this cause, a man shall leave his father and his mother and shall cleave to his wife, and the two will be one flesh. It is for this occasion that friends and family have gathered with excitement to celebrate this occasion with you guys today. And Jake and Hannah are so excited that you came today to take part of this special moment. It's clear through the scripture that God created marriage as an experience of love and to provide his own idea of friendship, lifelong companionship, healthy families, spiritual growth, and that his truth and holiness might be transmitted from one age to the other. Jake and Hannah, the day is finally here. Are you excited? Don't cry. <laughs> Weddings usually cause the normal reflection about your relationship. You've probably over the last few days and weeks reflected on the first time that you met, the first phone call, the recall the moment that you heard their name and it caused your heart to beat just a little faster, your first date, and the first time that you thought, hey, this could be the one. And then on a very cold, freezing day in Nashville, Jake asked Hannah to be his wife, and she said yes. So today, you are no longer just two good friends, but you're about to be transformed into one. Your marriage today will cause the merger of your separate lives into a union dedicated to the glory of God. We could not speak of this day today without remembering the families. You guys have given so much to these two throughout the years. As you came in today, you saw a table of remembrance of some very important people in Jake and Hannah's life that they, in this ceremony, wanted to remember. You've openly made known your wish to be united in the covenant of marriage. You've shared vows with each other, made promises to each other before God and these witnesses, and you've given each other rings. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. Jake, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jake McGee. 